Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jeff Gregory, the Director of College Partnerships here at Lackawanna College. Uh, and we're bringing you a video today to explain our dual enrollment program and our dual enrollment partnership with your high schools. Um, as you know, we have uh, agreements with many schools across the area um, near many of our satellite campuses as well as main campus. And this video is going to give you an idea of how you can register uh, for these courses. Each high school uh, has a course list. Um, your specific, the course list would look similar to this. Um, obviously, at your high school, you will have, instead of um, something generic here on the bottom, uh, underneath the Lackawanna College course, you would have the specific high school. So for example, if you're at Scranton High School or Dunmore High School or Mid Valley High School, in this area, that would be your specific high school name. So courses that you may qualify at your high school would be on this list that you can get from your guidance department. How do you register for these courses? It's very simple. Lackawanna College has a dual enrollment registration form. Your job is simply to fill out the form. Left side of the form is all of your personal information, name, address, uh, phone number, different things that we need, email, very important. On the right side, basically gives you um, an area to let us know what high school you're attending and at the advisor uh, line you would leave that blank that's something that I would sign once I get the form from you in the bottom right hand corner that's the important part and I go back to the sheet that I referred to before um, when you're filling out the bottom in the course registrations you need to put the Lackawanna College course so again if we look back at this sheet you're going to put the course that's in the bold print not the course that you're taking uh, at your high school. So for example, if we're using college writing, which is the first one on this list, you would write English 105 college writing on the course that you are willing to take, not uh, AP writing. You write the Lackawanna College course because it is the Lackawanna College registration. Once you fill out that registration form, okay, you would simply uh, either, depending on what we're doing at your specific high school, you would either mail that information into Lackawanna College or you can hand that information in to your guidance counselor uh, with your payment. Now, we talk about uh, cost. Um, the cost of our courses are $100 a credit for schools that we have a dual enrollment partnership with. Um, it's about an 80% discount uh, from our regular rate. Uh, the current rate is $535 a credit. So to give you an idea, a three credit course at Lackawanna College costs $1,605. If you take the course through dual enrollment, you can get a three credit course for $300. So again, um, a very big savings to you uh, in the dual enrollment. So again, once you fill this out and you, have your, you, you attach your check to the form, whether you're handing it in the guidance department or you're mailing it uh, directly to the college or even um, emailing a form to me, at that point, um, there's nothing else you need to do. Um, we get the form, we get you registered here through Lackawanna College, and you just continue to take the class at your high school if it's a course that you're doing that's within the high school setting. Each high school has their own deadline date, so you'd have to get that from your counselor um, at your high school to know when the deadline for your specific high school is to turn in the forms. Um, so again, there's not a set date um, for everyone. It's, it, it, it varies on what each high school decides. So again, once you've registered, you've sent your check, you've paid, we get you registered into the system. What happens then is at the end of the school year, or again, if you're a block schedule school, it may be the end of a semester, but most of our partnerships are with schools that have the traditional year-long schedule. We will then at the end of the school year, we'll send out grade sheets to your counselors. And what they'll do is they will send back your grades, uh, your final grade for the course that you may be registered in if you choose to participate. And then we will take that grade, we will put it on a Lackawanna College transcript. Um, at that point, if you are a senior and you're looking to move on to a, another college, uh, if it's not Lackawanna College, there's something that you need to do at the end, and that is to request your transcript. We have, we have an online process uh, to where you can request a transcript. There's a website that we'll send you to, and that is something that at the end that you need to do uh, to get your transcript request uh, in, and that will allow us to send your final transcript off to the college 
that you are attending. That being said, if you're coming to Lackawanna College, which certainly we hope, um, you would not have to go through the transcript process. At that point, the transcript is already here, so there's nothing you need to do. We have your courses that you took on our transcript, and we just move forward from there. One key thing that people ask about all the time is the transferability of credit. So this is very important. Um, if you're coming to Lackawanna College, certainly the transcripts, uh, or excuse me, the credits will come right to the college um, because there are credits. And they'll transfer in exactly as the course uh, listed you took. So if it was college writing, it's coming in as college writing. If it's an effective speaking course, it's coming in as effective speaking. It comes in exactly as the course number and course title you took. If you are heading to another college, um, you at that point, uh, very important to realize that it is up to the receiving college that's taking the credits from us, how they accept them and if they accept them. Now to the if part of that, um, most colleges take our credits, our credits move very, very well. Um, so most colleges do accept our credits. We have a passport agreement um, with the 14 state schools. If you don't know the 14 state schools, they're Bloomsburg, California, Cheney, Clarion, East Stroudsburg, Edinburgh, Indiana U, Kutztown, Lock Haven, Mansfield, Millersville, Shippensburg, Slippery Rock, Westchester. We also have articulations agreements with Temple. Um, our, our, our credits transfer very well to uh, Penn State, um, Pittsburgh, uh, most of the local colleges, University of Scranton, Wilkes, Kings, Misericordia, um, Marywood, Keystone, Luzerne, our credits do move um, uh, very, very nicely uh, into other colleges. So that if part usually is not an issue. Um, the how part, how do they accept your credits? This is another thing that's very important. Sometimes schools may not take the credit um, as, or I should say the course as is. And what do I mean by that? They might not, if you do college writing with us or effective speaking with us, they might not take the course as college writing, as effective speaking. They may take it only as an elective. So, you know, an example of maybe how that would come into play. Uh, let's say you're going to be a communications major somewhere and you're going to a different school and you're transferring your effective speaking class from Lackawanna College to that school. They may say, you know, you're coming into our building, you're coming into our institution as a, as a communications major, and we would like you to take our public speaking class. So we're not not going to accept the credit for the class you did through Lackawanna, but we're just going to give you that credit as one of your electives. So either way, it's still taking place of a class, it just might not take place of the effective speaking class. If you do have some colleges that are narrowed down, maybe you're down to your top three or two or, or four, it never hurts to give a call to the registrar's office at that school. Um, let them know that you're you know, taking some Lackawanna College courses, you got some dual enrollment credits at Lackawanna College, and you're just ask the question, um, you know, these are the courses I took. You wanna look at those um, course codes. You wanna have that on hand because they may ask for that uh, class code. And if you tell them in the registrar's, I'm taking effective speaking, uh, the code is COM 125 at Lackawanna College, do you accept Lackawanna College credits? most likely you're gonna get the answer um, that you wanna hear uh, that the courses will move uh, nicely into that institution. But again, it never hurts to make a phone call because again, keep in mind, we do not decide how the credits transfer and if they transfer if you're not coming uh, to Lackawanna College. So again, some important things that you can do um, prior to your um, taking these courses. Also, I did mention um, these courses are the ones that you take through your high school. Also, any dual enrollment student is welcome to register online for an online course here at Lackawanna, or you're certainly welcome to attend um, when our ca campus is you know, fully reopened again. You are certainly welcome to uh, attend our main campus or any of our satellite centers and take a course at the same price, $100 a credit. Some scholarship programs I want to mention before we wrap up the video. Uh, we do have two new scholarships that are out there uh, that, that are, we're moving forward into the fall 2021 semester with. Our honors program scholarship, um, basically what that is, and we sometimes call it a top 10 scholarship. Uh, if you're in the top 10 of your class when you graduate and you attend Lackawanna College, after you take care of all of your financial aid, which means you fill out your FAFSA, um, you uh, get all of that information in and then once you you get all of the aid that you're entitled to if any um, We will pick up the balance 
that you have left. So in, 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 in essence, in the end, it is a full ride, full scholarship to Lackawanna College, as long as you remain a full-time student and you follow uh, through with some of the qualifications that are here. There is some criteria that you do have to meet to qualify for this scholarship. And again, it's all uh, on the flyers, and, we, and it's, there, we, there are flyers in your guidance departments. Another piece of this is if you are from number 11 to 20 in your class, this scholarship now becomes a half scholarship. So again, same criteria. You'd fill out the, your FAFSA, you'd do all your financial aid, and in the end, there'll be a number remaining left of what you may owe. At that point, Lackawanna College will pick up half of that money. So you would get a half scholarship to the college at that point. So again, it's an opportunity if you don't finish in the top 10, um, if you're 11 through 20, for you to get some money um, for doing that well uh, throughout your high school career. Now, I always joke when I talk in front of the students in the high schools and say, what does that tell you? It tells you if you're number 11, get to number 10. Get to number 10. Second one is called a dual enrollment scholarship, and we have double your dollars on the flyer here. The dual enrollment scholarship is simply um, giving you an opportunity to get your money back. So how does that work? Okay, if you take, let's say, nine credits of dual enrollment throughout your high school career and you then come to Lackawanna College as a full-time student uh, after high school. What we will do is, let's use that nine credits again as an example. That means you've paid us $900 already for those credits. At that point, you automatically qualify for $900 a year in scholarship money. So hence, your freshman year starts, you get a $900 scholarship which gives you your money back that you spent in dual enrollment. Once you stay into your sophomore year, that $900 doesn't go away, you get that money again. So now you've doubled your dollars. If you complete an associate's degree with Lackawanna College, you would have gotten $1,800 in scholarship money through the dual enrollment scholarship. And then again, any financial aid you get on top of that certainly is extra um, off your tuition. If you decide to stay at Lackawanna College for a bachelor's degree, that 900 continues in your junior year, in your senior year. So again, quadrupling your money in a $3,600 scholarship over the life of your career at Lackawanna College. So again, that's a, a second scholarship that we have uh, moving forward into the fall 2021 school year for any high school senior graduating that wants to attend Lackawanna College. Thank you so much for viewing this video uh, on the dual enrollment registration process. We certainly hope to see you in the near future as either a high school dual enrollment student or even better, a degree seeking student here at Lackawanna College. Have a great day.